Hi, I'm Caitlin Shannon, the Student Life and Arts Editor for the Drew Acorn. First, all of us at the Acorn would like to welcome the new class of 2021 to the forest. Today, we sat down with President Benninger to hear her advice for and thoughts on the new class of Drew. Thank you for You're welcome. It, like saying yes to this. This is the first um, of hopefully what will be a series of interviews that we're going to start at the Acorn um, with like important and interesting people around campus. So we thought that you'd be perfect for the first interview. Well, thank you, <laughs> and that's a great idea. So first, the kind of maybe obvious question is, how have you been spending your summer? What have you been doing? <laughs> working, working, working. Um, I don't get the summer off, really. Right. <laughs> I did go to Chicago for a few weeks where we have a home that my daughter and son-in-law and our grandkids live in, so oh, I stayed there. Fun. Um, and I worked on the house, which is how I get my, <laughs> my uh, like how I use my free time. I right. like to work with my hands. So, and jumping right in, what are what's some like big changes coming to Drew for this school year? So we cut down on the number of very senior level administrators, mm -hmm. purposely so that we could bring the three schools together. So you're going to be seeing a lot of, hearing a lot about interesting new programs and synergies between the schools where things overlap. We, um, the new communication and media program starts this year. Um, we're starting um, to expand the public health minor into a major. We have two new statistics related minors and we're looking at um, some uh, coursework in cybersecurity. Uh, so it's really wow. exciting <laughs> on the academic affairs front. We're just able to um, take the resources we have, which are strong, and juxtapose them in a way that we're going to be able to do all sorts of interesting stuff. So soon the class of 2021 will be here. The international students are already here, but soon the whole class will be together. So do you have any advice for <laughs> these uh, first years who are probably a little bit stressed and anxious as they begin their next adventure? My advice to students would be get involved but also take care of yourself and your time mm -hmm. and, and you know find a space where you're actually not doing anything except hanging out <laughs> because that's going to that's going to make you take everything else in in a better way. It's going to make you a better studier rather than trying to, you know, get your calendar so filled up that right. you can't even stop and reflect or think or meditate. Mm -hmm. But that's what I would <laughs> Actually, say. This goes perfectly into our final question. So personally, the way that I sort of chill out is to go into town and get something to eat. So what's your favorite place to go in and into town and eat. I go to 54 Main mm -hmm. a lot. That's my husband and my go-to place when we just don't feel like cooking. <laughs> um, I also like Shanghai Jazz a lot. Yeah. I kind of reserve that maybe for a little bit more special occasion. Right. We, we go to a lot of <laughs> restaurants, but 54 Main would be the one that we go to your, your go most. To. <laughs> Can I, I want to tell you a little bit about um, the first year class. So, um, one of the things I'm really excited about is that Drew is growing. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came on board in 2014, one of my jobs was to um, get the admission cycle a little bit more back on track. And so we have some recent statistics. As of this fall, we have a class of 375 new wow. first year students coming in, which is about 20, 25 students larger than last year's class. Mm -hmm. And um, we have our, our undergraduate population has grown 27% wow. since um, 2014. Our number of international students is up nearly 200%. Well, it's really 195%. <laughs> um, and the number of countries that our students come from are, right now there are 40 countries represented at Drew wow. in contrast to about 20 countries um, in 2014. And our first year class represents 18 different countries. Um, the INTO program, which was brand new when mm -hmm. I came on board, is go going, growing strong, going strong. Um, so it's, it's, really, it's really nice to see that excitement. We're adding um, new programs and majors and lots of new dual degree programs to, mm -hmm. with other institutions that are too numerous to mention. <laughs> and that current students can still take advantage of in many cases. You mm -hmm. don't need to be a new first year to take advantage of these things. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a really exciting and good fall, I That's think. amazing. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be 
Great. <laughs> and I just met, I don't know, probably about, I, 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 I don't want to take the time to count them, but I just met the new faculty. We have new ma faculty in math and computer science and philosophy and media and communications and history and sociology and chemistry and psych and bio and econ wow. and public health. <laughs> um, so more new faculty starting this year than we've had in previous years. So it's going to be a fun and exciting and positive change year and um, gosh the dining hall is entering into its second year and <laughs> we got off of the is it food list yes. uh, so Princeton <laughs> review is uh, yes we're happy all very with excited our, about our food so <laughs> good things yeah, so thank you very much for You're this welcome. amazing interview and for sitting down with us and uh, I'm excited it's a pleasure for this school year thank, thank you, you.